The Lagos State Governor, Mr. Babajide Sanwulu, has flagged off the distribution of food items as a palliative measure to cushion the effects of the fuel subsidy removal on the police officers serving on the Lagos State Police Command. Adding to that, the distribution of 300 bags of 50 kilograms per boiled rice, 150 bags of Gary, and 75 bags of beans were disbursed to the officers and men of the Lagos State Police Command which is to encourage their selfless service and boost the officers' morale. We are here on behalf of the State government to share the food items to the Nigerian police. Yeah, we did not choose only Nigerian police. It's for all individuals which are quite vulnerable due to the first subsidy thing and to make ends meet for the less privileged. So it's quite difficult for some of them now. So we believe this could go a long way. We are not stopping here. After now, we are going to fire service, the artisan, the the CDS, CDS and all. So trust me, it will get somewhere. However, the delegates were received by the Assistant Commissioner of Police in charge of administration, Mary Ayim, while applauding the kind gesture of His Excellency, Babajide Ulushala Sonulu, on behalf of the Commission of Police, Lagos State, Idewu Owonwa. Very grateful, very, very grateful. Because it's not been easy pulling through this time, this subsidy removal and all that. It's been biting hard on all of us. And the men have to go the extra mile to sacrifice to make sure that they perform their constitutional duties. I'll give you an example. An officer that leaves the house to work, they're supposed to go back home to rest, cannot go back home because the transport will tell on his pay. So what he does is to stay in the office, sleep where there's no comfort, so that he can walk throughout the week and save that money. Still so that he can meet up his mandate to protect the questions. So they've been giving, doing a lot of sacrifices, and this one will go a long way. It will go a long way. At least the money they're supposed to use to buy food, they'll be able to use it now to augment that, that transport. You know, I don't like to go to I know I was very happy. The representative of the Lagos State Governor also emphasized that the distribution of the food items will go to vulnerable households will be done through groups, institutions, non-governmental organizations, community development committees, and people living with a disability, regardless of their status. In Lagos, Jennifer Mosu reporting for Newsbuster TV.